My name is Vic Rollo, and I believe that Italy is the best place on earth to eat and drink. Follow me, and I'll prove it. When we come to Italy, it's all about tradition. It's all about the history of food and wine. We're here at Castiglione Folletto at Le Torre Restaurante with Cristina Rinaldi. She's the chef and owner here, and she's going to teach us how to make plin, which is a little kind of like an agnolotti or a little ravioli that's very typical of the, of, uh, the Lange, Lange Hills. Hills yes. yes. And can you explain what plin means? Plin is a pinch. So we because pinch the pasta. The pasta is pinched together with the fingers for right. producing small ravioli. Right. And the stuffing, can you tell me about what we, how you make the meat stuffing? The stuffing is made with three different meat, um, rabbit, uh, beef, and pork loin. Everything is, bo is roasting in the oven together with some vegetables. What type of vegetables do you put in the... Uh, Cabbages and the leeks, together with uh, two or three cups of boiled rice. And that makes the stuffing very soft and, and very flavorful. So you wouldn't boil the meat because the meat wouldn't have the flavor that you need inside this uh, very small, the plein, the ravioli. Yes. We need the, 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 the meat very, very nicely roasted. And the dough, the pasta, to make this pasta, it's a very particular pasta, and it's simple. How do we the make it? The pasta is the, the, the typical pasta of Piemont, very rich in egg yolks, and a very simple flour, the double zero or the one zero flour. Flour and eggs, no salt, no, no sa pepper, no, no water. No oil, very simple. Okay, so we're going to put these together. We put the, uh, the meat, the stuffing, in a pastry bag. So this is just a disposable pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, sometimes even a, a little plastic bag yeah. works if you don't have that in your house. So we've spooned the meat stuffing into the bag, and let's make some of these plein. She's stuffing the plein, so she's filling them and lining them up like little soldiers. And then we're going to cut around those to make the, uh, the plein and to finish them and we put a little water so the dough sticks together. Fold the dough over, and there's the pinch of the dough. Then the cutter to cut the dough. We separate the dough. And then we cut each portion, very easy, this is not difficult, finished. Now I'm going to make a batch. Is that close enough to the edge or too yes, close Yes, you to need to, enough space to fold it. And. So we put our stuffing down, then I take the brush with some uh, clear water. Clear water. And this water is just like glue for, to, for the dough. And stick. then I fold this way? Yes. Like all the way over? Si, si, si. Okay. Like this? You press a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you start pinching. So Very the, odd way. And it sticks to your hands a little bit. Yeah. So. No air inside, pinch very well. My first time, <laughs> I am an amateur at this with the expert, my teacher right here. Okay. Okay. And then you can start cutting. I cut this way first. Yes, this way. Here? Yes. So I cut with the pastry uh, cutter. Remember that they should be hermetically closed. No hair inside and no water inside. Okay, so we take the extra pasta away. And then and you turn them upside down, a kind of necklace like this. Okay. 
and you start cutting. And just cut through like yes. this? The first one here, you cut the first for closing, okay. And you will go on in cutting. Mine are a little bigger when I become yeah. an expert <laughs> after I stay here for... And remember that it is not easy to produce them with a machine. So it's each time you enjoy plin, usually they are handmade. Yeah, well, the, the machine-made ones don't look like this. No. Uh, machine is not able to fold the way we do. A nice folding. See. Si. And so the preparation of these is we just boil them in salted water, and traditionally they were served on a table. On a t yes, on a very nice uh, linen. Linen tablecloth. Yeah. Everyone had a fork, a glass of wine. And they, they share. And they put in the middle of the table. And the tradition, the Piemontese tradition is family style, to share. And they had no cheese, no butter, no sage, just plain. Just plain because the stuffing itself is very rich and flavory. And other preparations in the restaurant may include sage and butter. Is there any other preparations? With sage and butter, we serve the same way, agnolotti or tallarine as well. Would they ever serve this with a, a, a different kind of sauce other than sage and butter or just sage and butter? We can uh, steam them directly in the beef stuff. But this time we are going to serve them in a very traditional way. Just on the linen? Just on the linen. Okay, let's boil the uh, plain. And for how long do they boil? Uh, okay, just five minutes, no more than five minutes. It is a fresh and made pasta. We don't need to overcook it. Okay, so we'll boil them for five minutes and then we'll serve them in the bowl. Very special way, kind of Michelin star way of serving plain, but the very traditional style. Yes. After four or five minutes in boiling water, the plain are ready to take out and we're gonna strain them with a little hand straining. Oh, they look fantastic. Perfect. Mine are a little bigger than yours because I'm not as quite as experienced as you, but they do look fan they look great. The color of the pasta is still nice and yellow. All of all of the plain stay together. We have no broken ones in the pot. You're gonna see them right now. And we're gonna bring them out. And we're gonna serve them very traditional. We talked about serving them on the linen, and this was a traditional way. To serve it a la carte in a nice restaurant like we have here. You can't put them in the middle of the table. So they've kind of um, taken the tradition, a little courtesy here, and they put the linen in a bowl, and we're just putting the plain right in the bowl. There's no butter on top, no sage, no parmigiano, no olive oil, niente, nothing, zero. And then you kind of eat them by hand. This is the way the Piemontese eat. It's a kind of family style. Yes, it's a kind of sharing with friends or familiars. Yeah, and I, I think family and friends is what this area is about. I think the wines depict that, the foods depict that, and for you to allow me in your kitchen, you clearly depict that. And uh, thank you very much for having me. Welcome. And let's taste one of these uh, beautiful pastas. Mm. Delicate and delicious. Bon appetito.